Evernote tags have a superhero power when they are combined with the search syntax. I'll show you some examples based on tests I'm doing with the filtered notes widget. If you get a little confused, especially if my naming scheme on the widgets or the tag, there's another video in the channel about how I use the filtered notes widget. Please watch that other video and you understand it. Let's start with the desk tag. I've been using it for years to filter notes that have information I will only need for a while. For example, a trip itinerary, a hotel or Airbnb reservation, anything I need just for a while and I want to have quick access to it. And that's why the tag is also set as a shortcut. Okay, I agree with you, the desk tag use is quite typical. The important thing here is that the notes can be and can come from any notebook. Let's move on. The Dawn tag is another one I've been using for years. Sometimes I have so many tags in a note that it's easier to add another one, the Dawn, instead of looking for a tag that I need to remove to have that note not showing up in a search result. For example, the note of this video, it has several tags. It has tags, search, filter, widget, and so on. What I do is just add minus tag column Don to a search, and that will exclude all the notes with a Don tag from the search results. For now, just keep that information with you. You'll soon understand why it is important to use the Don tag. Anyway, both situations are good examples for experimentation with the filtered notes widget. Like I said before, task tag is straightforward. Just set a filtered notes widget, and all you'll see there are notes with the desk tag. I decided to test the desk tag in a widget because it's easier. I don't have to go to the shortcuts area, click on desk and then see all the notes. I can spot whatever I want on the widget. It's always there. And when that information is not important to have my virtual desk, I just remove the tag from that note. But the Dawn tag is a different monster. I have to think about the construction of the syntax to have the right notes in each widget. Let me show you. In my workflow, it's always easier to add a tag and create a search syntax that will understand the meaning of that tag. That's why for the backlog widget, I started with the combination of tag backlog space minus tag story. When I add the story tag to a note, it will be removed from that widget. And as you soon see, this will make the note move from the backlog to the story widget. But <laughs> of course, there's also a problem here. Sometimes a note from the backlog widget will never get to the story widget. Sometimes that idea that is in the backlog will not go anywhere. It's not gonna happen. Of course, I could delete a note, but I like to keep some history. So the best thing to do is use the Dawn tag. And that's why I added minus Dawn to the backlog widget. So now we have tag backlog minus tag story minus tag Dawn. If I add the Dawn tag to a note that already have the backlog tag, that note will disappear from the backlog widget. For now, this combination of tags is working very well, but if you wanna follow my progress, subscribe to the channel. Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> the story widget has the combination tag story minus tag done. This is how notes with a story tag end up in the story widget. And when I'm done working on a story, I just add the done tag and it will disappear from the story widget. That was easy, <laughs> but there's always more. For example, I have a version of this channel in Portuguese. I also have other notes related to my YouTube channels. There are notes containing information about companies that wanna sponsor the videos. So all this is inside a notebook called YouTube. Picture this, I'm in the backlog widget looking for the next thing I'm gonna work on. But let's say I wanna work specifically with 
the companies that want to sponsor videos in this channel. All I have to do is click the backlog word. This will show me notes matching the search syntax I created for that widget. But I can now click the filter icon and select sponsoring. This will combine the search syntax with the sponsoring tag. I'll see notes that have the sponsoring tag, but also match that search syntax. This is amazing. <laughs> okay, I don't want to go any further. This is already really complicated for some Evernote users, but I needed to show you all of this power to help you understand future videos I'm already working on about Evernote search and Evernote filters. If this was useful for you, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to learn how to organize your life and accomplish more with Evernote, subscribe to the channel. See you soon.